Dope Henry, Reefers Cops, and Kush Cat, witty cannabis names to attract black market customers. This was actually a, a contraband tobacco investigation initially, which led to these other products. What they discovered on Vancouver Island was much more, enough to fill a shipping container. Equivalent to 82,000 packs of cigarettes, over 120,000 of these uh, packaged snacks that are drug laced, and we don't know how many are already out there. The massive stockpile of counterfeit cannabis edibles linked to a drug lab and two unregulated dispensaries operating near Nanaimo and Port Alberni. Six suspects linked to an organized outlaw motorcycle group have been arrested. Investigators also seizing a shotgun, two ATMs, 400,000 in cash and psilocybin mushrooms. They had been produced in highly unsanitary and heavily contaminated mobile trailers. These counterfeit drug-laced snacks had been subjected to cross-contamination with numerous other drugs and substances. Now I just want to point out the packaging here. So a bag of Takis, we've got Rice Krispies here and Chips Ahoy all look very real. And if you're a six-year-old child, it would be hard to tell the difference between the real product and cannabis-laced items. And with Halloween around the corner, parents are being asked to be extra vigilant. Their consumption may pose serious health risks to children and adults. The federal government limits 10 milligrams of THC per package. We saw candies claiming to have 10,000 milligrams, a dangerously high amount. One cannabis reform advocate says customers still head for the black market because of price and potency. They want stronger products that are medicinal grade. A lot of them are medicinal users and they want the stronger edibles. And also some of them don't like paying that excise tax. We're able to keep costs lower. The dispensaries and storage facility operating on two separate First Nations reserves. Investigators believe the crime group set up on First Nations land in an effort to avoid police. Emily Lazatin, Global News.